Hello everybody, my name is Heath Record and today I'm going to teach you how to clean your fursuit. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to want to go and collect all the materials we need in order to clean our fursuit, in at least my method. What you're going to want to need is a spray bottle, a bottle of rubbing alcohol, a, a dog brush, a hand cloth, a bar of soap, and a measuring cup. Now that we got all those materials, we're going to move on to the first step, which is using our rubbing alcohol, our spray bottle, and our measuring cup. So what we're going to do with the measuring cup is we're going to make a 50-50 mixture of regular water and rubbing alcohol. And once we get that mixed together at 50-50 even, we're going to go and take a spoon and mix it together, and then take the, the substance we've made and pour it into the spray bottle. And now that we've got the spray bottle all ready, we're now going to go on to spraying our substance within our fursuit. Now, over time, uh, sweat builds up within your fursuit after multiple uses. So my basic method for cleaning your suit properly and knowing when is best to do it is after three really long uses and having sweat build up within your suit, that's when it's time to clean. And also, after you go to a convention, immediately clean it as well. Or if you go to an outing, immediately clean it after that because all the, you know, the germs that have already built up on it. That, so it would be really nice if you cleaned it at that point as well. So when it comes to spraying the head, make sure that you do not spray the eyes. If you spray the eyes, you will end up ruining the acrylics paint on the outside and it will pretty much ruin your eyes for your fursuit. So make sure you avoid spraying that. But everything else on the inside of the head, uh, spray that part though. Um, when it comes to the hands, make sure you, you spray within the hands and spray the insides of the fibers within the feet paws as well. Now we're going to get on to letting our fursuit dry out. So make sure that you do not leave your fursuit to dry out in a dark place because that will cause mold to grow with inside of it. So make sure you leave it in a couple of hours in a light space so that way it can dry out. Six hours later. And now since if we've waited a while for our fursuit to dry on the inside, we're now going to go on to working on the outside and cleaning that part. So you're going to want to go and take the hand towel and, clean, and rinse it down and make it all wet and then squeeze out any loose water on it. And then we're going to go and cover water around all the outside fur of every single part of our fursuit. Now we're going to want to go and take the hand towel we had and then put soap on it and then go over every single place on the fursuit again. And then once we got that out of the way, we're going to get a new hand towel, rinse that one with water, and then just go all over again to get the soap off of the fursuit. So now we're going to move on to the last part, which is brushing the fursuit. So after we've gotten all the water to dry off of the fursuit and cleaning that off, we're now going to want to go and take our dog brush and then brush in a consistent straight pattern for all the parts of our fursuit so that way the fur looks nice and kept. And once you get that done, then we have pretty much completed cleaning our fursuit. So uh, that pretty much wraps this up, and I have now successfully showed you how to clean your fursuit. So, thank you all for watching, please remember to subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. So, goodbye! Woo! Ow! <laughs>